Hey Simmers, thank you for popping in to another episode of this series that I think I finally settled on a name for. I think I'm going to be calling it the Let's Build a Story series because we are building a save file, but it's it's more than that. It's all of these stories. Oh, Mama's playing with Kitty. Oh, that's so cute. Guys, there is a couple of changes. There will probably be tweaks here and there every time we pop in. Last time we went ahead and did her living room and her dining room. Uh, as you can see, Mama is playing on her back porch with her beautiful kitty. His name is Louie. You guys have met, left so many suggestions uh, for his name, but a lot of you were suggesting Louie and I love that. So while Mama Laveau is getting giddy over her little Louie, let's pop right into build mode and get straight to the build. So my dears, last episode, we did furnish her living room. You are going to see a few differences in color choices. It was just too bleh. It was just too blue. Uh, and blue is a great color, right? It was just too monochromatic for me. <laughs> I know that this is a lot of color in a build, um, but it's so Mama Laveau. It's very eclectic, very put together. Um, it all works because it's her personality, not because each individual piece matches. So I think changing a few key pieces of furniture while still keeping with the same color story uh, is was the right call here. Uh, really no changes in the dining room, which we did last time. We are going to be bringing our attention to the kitchen, you guys. I'm so excited for this room because this room is where the magic happens <laughs> as far as, well, the magic that the folks in town uh, have decided that she does. As an aside, I'm also going to be doing her bathroom because I want her to have working kitchen and bathroom by the time we're done with this because she just had a big old gulp of iced tea out there on her porch and uh, girls gotta go. So I wanna give her a place to do that comfortably. Speaking of back porches, you guys, <laughs> you had a great idea. One of you guys had a great idea that Mama Laveau, you know that she does bridge, right? And she has like a little bridge club and she hangs out sipping some iced tea with her bridge club. Um, and I love that. I absolutely love that. That wasn't a direction that I saw her going at first, but I was like, of course, absolutely. So I love when you guys leave me comments. They are brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. You guys totally get her, which is outstanding. I'm super excited about it that we are on the same page so much so that you're seeing her I think in some ways better than I am <laughs> so all right let's get started on this kitchen now country kitchen is a kitchen set that I absolutely love I don't get a chance to use it as often as I would like to and that bums me out but just not every build is going to call for that you know I think I'll tip the camera up here just to make sure that I'm not moving around too much in my editing my constant changing of the camera angle <laughs> makes me nauseous. I can't imagine how you guys live with it. I think I actually moved it down here. Now, like I said, I can't always have my country kitchen, but any chance that I get to use it where it makes sense, and I do think that the Deep South is a perfect excuse to use something like this, I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm absolutely gonna do it. I will leap at the opportunity. Ooh, that's very purple. I don't think we want to go that well. It's it's a it's a light purple. It's a dusty purple. But we'll go with a nice white mostly because this country kitchen sink has bright white porcelain around it. <laughs> so I'm going to be matching her appliances to that. Mama Laveau loves a splash of color, but she picked these out of a Sears magazine umpteen million years ago and they all matched and that was outstanding for her she loved that she was so happy with it so who am i to rob her of the status right oh i think we're also going to have a problem because this is yes perfect that needed to move over some now we've been talking a little bit about new orleans shotgun style houses creole cottages those are two separate styles or i don't, I don't want to say build styles that's not what they're called in the real world but you get my drift they're two separate buildings creole cottages look uh, much less long right so they sort of fit a little bit more naturally into almost suburbia um, they have front porches they have back porches but they are much less long front to back they have a little bit more variation in their original floor plans now, as I said last episode, I thought that um, the shotgun style houses were the way that they were. Usually they had like two front doors, like this window would have been a door. And I think probably at some point Mama Laveau's house was that way, but she just converted it to a window. 
I thought that it was that way incorrectly because I thought that these were houses um, made into slave houses, essentially. And they tried to squish two families into, you know, one side of the houses uh, because it's also another common style to have it sort of divided in half along this very long building which makes it even longer but that's not the case it's just a preferred style it just had to do with airflow um from what i'm reading that's really the big the big thing no secrets there now we get to clutter up the counters just a wee bit just a smidge i don't overly clutter but i do like it where i can get it reasonably so i certainly want to do like a draining rack she's got a couple of places where she hangs her dried dishes or like puts up her dried dishes but i also want her to have a draining rack because i think that that's just super realistic just in any home right but um, Creole cottages, I'm sorry, shotgun houses, which is what Mama Laveau lives in, typically had the four rooms stacked from front to back that we see here, separated by one or two breezeways, and really no halls to speak of. It was a really cost efficient way to get all those rooms in. Usually your front room was like your family room, your sitting room. Then there were actually two bedroom rooms in the middle. And at the very end, was your kitchen. Pardon me while I just pull out all of my country kitchen tidbits. Oh, should we go pink? Oh, there's little apples in that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, but we could do purple and yellow. We know that Mama Lavo loves a yellow moment. And I think purple is a perfect color to offset that or to accent it. So we'll see if we can go with it. We'll see if this persists. I don't think it does through everything, but that's okay. We can just fill in with yellow where there is no purple. So the back room would typically be the kitchen and that was a strategy for containing the heat on the outside of the house, which could cool the easiest. Let's pop her little bread box right here, looking so cute, so sweet. I think that's probably all. I don't think I can get anything up in these cupboards. No, I can't. Okay, well, that's, that's not awful. Um, but sometimes you'd have a bedroom in between like if you only needed one of those rooms to be a bedroom, the two in the middle, sometimes one would be a, a dining room, a formal dining room. Sometimes you'd have a bedroom in between the dining room and the kitchen. It was a what we would think of as a weird layout, but it worked for them. Well, now uh, kitchen has been moved probably, um, or maybe this used to only be a three room shotgun house. And then this back part was added onto or expanded. Um, but uh, mama has her kitchen not at the end of her house, which would have been abnormal. Okay, so I'm going a little off script here. <laughs> Normal, uh, Originally, her kitchen in my build, um, in my, my practice build, was blue. But I saw this purple and just loved it so much. Uh, this is the swatch that comes up under the purple one. I don't know that I love that, though. Um, these were just a beige, which I might still keep. I like the scuff marks on that. So I'll, I'll try a couple of things just as we're Gavin, as we're talking, uh, guys, depending on when this is going up, almost certainly after the Hundy Fundy video, if you watch that series, if you don't, no big deal. Um, but if you've seen that series, let me go ahead and pull up our cottage living. And may I please pull out that beautiful hutch that came, oh, this one, yes. Okay, that came with it. See, I love the little china in here. I think that that's so pretty. It's close enough to the door too that if she just wanted to run in from the uh, dining room into the kitchen, it's believable, right? And like I said, I will apply logic in The Sims where it suits me and then where it doesn't, I just, <laughs> we can get that out of there. Back to our country kitchen pack, I think. And we could do this for a casserole dish. I do like the idea of a casserole dish. I think that's very sweet, a very sweet detail. Do I think that Mama Laveau is mostly about cooking? No, I don't. But I think that her kitchen is very important to her for another reason. Mama Laveau has a very high herbalism skill. I think I've maxed it out, actually. I think she cans a bunch of stuff. I think that she just knows how things work together. And as I've said, she's a giving sim. So she spends a lot of time making these concoctions and potions. Uh, using natural herbs and remedies to be able to fix whatever ails you, whatever 
ails the community around her. The Laveaux have had a reputation for generations of being able to do this. So I think that with the knowledge that only her past Mama Laveaux could have passed down to her, does she spend all of this time in her kitchen lovingly putting together all of these remedies for the town around her. Which do I like? I think I think I like this best. Um, it brings in a little bit of that purple right next to our yellow bread box. Oh my goodness, grabbed the whole counter. Let's grab a bit of a knife block out for her. And how about, all right, perfect. That's, that's in a better position. <laughs> Nothing like fighting with clutter, you know? Break out our wonderful cutting board. And we'll pop that right up there for her. And I'm gonna get some spices out as well well uh, you know that spices are very important to mama Laveau. she knows just what to mix to get exactly the concoction that she's looking for what about these guys i love that up there wonderful and i think that's probably about as much of the other clutter that i'm going to do at least in this corner I do love everything hanging. I love these like little pot details on the end caps of these cabinets. I wish that they got more varied with the middle pieces. I wish that we had a variation of two swatches for each piece, right? Like the, the little piece that kind of goes above the fridge or something like that. I wish we had two piece or I wish we had two choices, pardon me, uh, for those just so that it wouldn't be so samey all the time. But when you use different pieces, I love how varied that it looks. This is absolute my favorite. And you know, I'm going a little bit off script here, but because of what I said that, you know, this may have been an addition um, Mama Laveau may have put in an addition uh, to her house in order to have more bedroom space. Um, I think probably this might be stone back here because it would have been something efficient for keeping the heat in the place where they would have cooked. Do I like that? Actually, I think I'll probably just do it on this wall, just this one wall. Maybe there used to be um, a wood burning stove here or something, and that's why it had to be stone. And she probably went ahead and put hardwood over um, the existing stone foundation here, something like that. But this room would have been um, strategically made so that if it had to hold heat, it needed, if it needed to hold heat, it would have held heat. Oh, I think this little wreath from Laundry Day looks perfect up there. That's so cute. Indoor food, of course, for Louis. And I think this would be a perfect spot for a garbage can. I love using this garbage with anything like country kitchen or cottage living, something that's a little bit more rustic. Um, I also love it with the new horse ranch kitchen. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. We'll do it in a nice white. I certainly don't see why she can't have some hanging dried herbs. Uh, I think that would absolutely fit in with her little spice rack. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And we still do have one counter for you guys to cook at. I wanna leave it completely untouched because it is not worth it to me for the aesthetics if it's not functional. <laughs> so um, we'll, ooh, also let's give her a little dustpan and, um, and broom, just, you know, something, something cute, um, something to help her keep her house clean. Uh, I think Mama Lavo is a very, very clean sim, not overly, it's not like sterile or like the aesthetic isn't like overly sterile at a doctor's office, but you know, she sweeps, she dusts. Uh, I think the dust in Louisiana would, would probably uh, get quite a bit for her. So she sweeps, she dusts, she keeps busy, you know? Cats and dogs are going to be uh, my go-to for the little mats in her kitchen. We'll put one under her fridge, we'll put one under her stove, and we'll put one under her sink. Uh, just something really to stand on in the places where she spends a lot of time. I don't think I'll overly rug this room because again, she'll want it free to sweep. So we'll leave it there. Now for some of the fun bits, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out just a bunch of balms um, of herbal remedies. So we've got an insect repellent here. We have a soothing skin balm. We're gonna have some deodorizing cream. We're gonna do an energy infuser, tummy therapy. So that should help Sims who are having some issues with their tummies. 
There's a de-stressing concoction, which I mean, so many of us could use. Oh, it's a sadness alleviation. Oh, that's so cute. This is a sadness alleviation lotion clear mind distillation you know what i think i'm gonna need to find a spot <laughs> to get in some more shelves actually i've changed my mind i want them up here there is a rage relieving solve i wonder what that would do for werewolf sims i wonder if that has any effect on them and by the way you know that mama laveau has met her share of werewolves there is an elixir of fertility you know i feel like she would want to like hide that away <laughs> so she's got her tips and tricks for for conceiving you know i keep trying to get it up there but this is getting in the way so all right let's see if i can get it up to the right height if it floats i think we'll just live with it a little I don't think it would be the worst thing. Okay, come on. Yes. She wants that in the back, right? She doesn't want just anyone to find that. That is some powerful stuff, y'all. Ooh, a natural herbicide. So she knows how to make your garden grow well, apparently in more ways than one. Fungal infusion fertilizer. Interesting. So she's just going to have some of everything. This looks concerning. <laughs> that, um, mmm. It says herbology potion. So it, it seems fairly minor. If it is something that could accidentally threaten your Sims life, I'm so sorry. Uh, I am unaware of that. So we'll just, we'll just put it over here, right? She's just going to have it sort of, sort of back there. Cause I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what that does. Uh, so I just won't leave it out for uh, sticky hands to get in your Sims. Curious hands, you know. So there we go. I think the kitchen is done. Well, now the kitchen is done. <laughs> there we go. Got to have a potted plant and then we can have a done kitchen. Let's move on to the bathroom. And I know what you're thinking. Bathrooms are boring and perhaps, maybe, um, but everybody's got to have them, right? Just scooching this window over because I need a good place for a mirror. I think I went very green in this, the, the, uh, bathroom that I did as a practice, but I don't think I'm going to be sticking that way. Ooh, maybe we do like a blue pink teal kind of in this room. We could go that way. I like to base my wallpapers and things off of the swatches that I pick for the furniture. So I tend to build in a very, um, disorganized, I think kind of way. Um, so yes, we'll go with the tiling in here and let's take a look at, Oh, thank you. Let's take a look at some wallpaper. There's some gingham wallpaper that I think would be absolutely cute. It just says country to me. Ooh, there's yellow. Ooh, that's not bad. But this is a little bit more, I think, matching, but still kind of chaotic. So I like it. <laughs> it's just patterns on top of colors. And I like it. We'll get some whites in there as sort of a semi-neutral. Uh, so I think that'll probably save it. And I don't know about you guys, but I have certain toilets that I will use for certain style builds. Like obviously this toilet is something a little bit more grand, right? This toilet is just, you know, plain Jane toilet to me. This toilet to me says country. And I think it's because of the wood lid. I think it's a lid. Yes. I think it's because of the wood lid. Um, it just matches. I, I imagine a lot of country, um, country inspiration, you know, this is by far my favorite shower, I think in the game. Um, but especially for more country style builds, um, it's, it's just so cute. I don't know. It's cute. And I think I started to say, but I don't think I finished it. Um, in, if this build video is going up after the Hundy Fundy video, and it probably will, um, I was very sick. I am much more recovered from that cold now, though not a hundred percent. There's a lot of people that have just been getting sick. I think with with just one thing or another this season. In Minnesota, where I live, it hasn't been terribly snowy, which is very rare for us. Ugh, let's tip it this way. Good Lord. Okay, I love these two by three bathrooms. I think that they're really space efficient, um, especially if you have a big old household and you have toddlers and infants and they need baths. It's great um, for building in them, especially with the medium wall heights. They're so annoying. <laughs> they're so annoying because you can't get a good angle. But yeah, everybody has been um, getting, 
it's been a more mild winter as far as snow goes, but it has just been crazy how sick my household is getting, or at least me, specifically me, has been getting. My kids have been great. Uh, that is normally flip-flopped. They'll get sick and then I know it's coming, uh, but at least I have a little bit of time. Not this year. Um, I've been the one that's sick. They will get a little bit, but they will get over it so much faster than me. And it's just, uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so it looks like I can have either, oops, a toothpaste or soap. And I don't, I don't think Mama Laveau would be nasty enough to not have either in her house. Uh, so we are instead going to be moving this forward, pushing this back, maybe, okay, pulling it forward a little bit. And let's give her this one. Let's see if I, if I did this. Oh, I did. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I totally eyeballed that you guys. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> You guys, I was so nervous starting this series. I'm having a blast, but I would not call myself primarily a builder. And I was like, everybody's going to know. They're going to know. And you know what? Maybe, maybe you do. Maybe you're like, girl's not a builder, but she's trying. Bless her. Um, and I appreciate you if that is, if that is your attitude. Um, it is absolutely something that you're not wrong on. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Can I look past it? No. No, I can't. Um, I'm like right up on this too. But I feel like through this series, I'm learning so much. Um, and I've heard from a lot of other storytellers that, hey, because I, you know, just where we are all in our Sims journey, not everyone starts at the same place. Not everyone ends at the same place. And you don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to. But their thought is, okay, first of all, this would be so overwhelming. And can confirm, yeah, there's a lot of details. <laughs> there's a whole lot of details that you think about. Um, but most of it is just in the conceptualizing. The building is something that we all do, whether we like our build style or not. We're all builders at the end of the day, because if some stuff needs to get done, if it's not perfect, well, then we're, we're going to have to tweak it a little. And guess what? You're building. It's, mm, it's got the top showing, and I don't think I like that. Oh, my goodness. Eh, we'll put it up there. We'll put it up there. It's very, very tall detailing, but you know, it's, oh, we can look past it. I can look past it. There has to be something above this though. I just don't know what to put. Maybe that little wreath, maybe the little cottage living wreath. Yes, this one. Oh, they're all blue. All the flowers are blue. Um, okay. Well, that's not the worst. Yes. Kind of freshen it up a little bit. Wonderful. All right. So there is our bathroom done. All right, loves, if we go in through the front door, we just passed the living room, the dining room, and then you guys, we are going to happen into her quaint little kitchen. Oh, I really do love this, you guys. I am standing back, and regardless of, of what anyone's opinion is of the building, you've all been so supportive, um, I just stand back and go, man, I can't believe I built that. If we go into this little hallway, over here is going to be the Ooh, the bedroom <laughs> through this door, which we will do next episode. And we're in on this little bathroom that we just, whoa, we're like so close. We're in on this little bathroom that we just did. You guys do make sure to come back next week. You guys, I'm having the most wonderful time building this story with you, building up this house. And I can't wait to fill in the rest of the save file with you. Do come back next time because we are going to be getting to Mama Laveau's bedroom, that little hallway that we saw, and our mystery shed. You guys have been leaving amazing suggestions for what that is. Some of you have gone the paranormal investigator route. Some of you are going seance table. Some of you are thinking that we're doing potions in there voodoo yet more of you are thinking that it is a place for the kitties to hang out when it is cold all lovely amazing beautiful ideas and i think any one of them could be mama laveau's but we'll have to come back next episode to see what that shed is actually used for are the rumors substantiated or is this just foundry gossip i will see you all in the next one have an awesome day and as always happy simming